so uh, first topic that we'll see is uh, the origin of atmosphere like so uh, it started approximately uh, like 5 billion years ago then it was the origin actually is because of the degassing for instance like uh, you must have studied the evolution of earth like how earth was evolved and then first of all there was differentiation in the process of this atmosphere like earth had uh, like different layers of the earth as a like the uh, earth got cooled down and also this uh, uh, Leto, we study the different like crust is there, then mantle is there, then core is there, then this inner core is there, and all those things. So it is a differentiation thing, right? So when the uh, this this thing was taking place, as a result of that, gases were emitted. All right. So this phenomenon was called as degassing. Degassing degassing led to the creation of primordial atmosphere. Okay, so uh, approximate timeline is like uh, five years ago and before that one more thing I would like to tell you that uh, I will also keep telling like which sections are actually important and like um, uh, from the perspective of the exams and uh, from where the questions can be asked like, as per the trend in the previous year questions, alright. So let me tell you that uh, questions from monsoon as I told you it, it is important, then there, there are questions on trade winds, there are questions on Coriolis force. There are question on cyclone. These are very important. The topics that I this is like not very much asked, but still uh, uh, we are required to have an understanding of all the topics because we don't know UPSC. UPSC may hit sometimes with some uh, bounce and some random random question and all. So uh, proceed like that. But the more important topics like you, the, there the understanding has to be crystal clear. Okay, especially cyclones and the uh, uh, different type of fronts and the air mass uh, concept of air mass and all those things. Okay, uh, this is El Nino, La Nina phenomenon, ocean currents, uh, the, the different uh, systems of wind, trade winds and westerlies and all those things, what brings rain, how does rainfall takes place and all those things that are very important. Okay, so yeah, degassing uh, happened, differentiation was taking place uh, of the different layers of the earth as a result of degassing primordial atmosphere was, uh, uh, it was, it formed, all right. This uh, degassing was due to uh, uh, processes like radioactive decay, decay and all the things that was uh, acting inside the earth process uh, uh, on the inside the surface of the earth. Like uh, we need not be concerned with too many technical details because we should limit ourselves to understanding of like GS. All right. So uh, this uh, after this primordial atmosphere was there, it consisted of the elements like uh, methane, nitrogen. Anyway, right? I should write. Methane, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, water vapor was there. Okay, so uh, uh, what are the what were the processes involved? The processes involved were like radioactivity, solar radiation, lightning. Okay, these are the processes. So uh, this was a primordial atmosphere. Okay, now uh, again like what happened that uh, after some time like uh, it uh, you uh, primordial earth was not able to keep the primordial atmosphere. So, uh, uh, but after the later point of time what happened due to the, these different processes the rainfall uh, started occurring because water vapor was also present. So, when the rain started uh, hap uh, falling then it reacted with the uh, for instance like this is. Uh, our earth and then rain will start falling some this is our primordial atmosphere let us assume okay like this is our primordial like whatever the, this uh, methane nitrogen all, all those things are concerned now when the after a certain point of time uh, we achieve a criticality uh, uh, criticality means some uh, uh, some process has occurred it has reached a saturation level so after that rain started okay now it rain started and then it reacted with the earth crust here, when it fell down and all, then it filled the ocean waters, okay. And uh, after it filled the ocean water, it constituted the, it uh, led to the formation of uh, this uh, uh, carbonates, the, like uh, the, that we say that ocean stores carbon. 
and in this process like the removal of CO2 took place from the atmosphere. So, rain led to the ocean and it led to the uh, ray, uh, elimination of CO2 alright. So, uh, uh, this is the idea that uh, primordial atmosphere work was consisting of uh, all the things uh, uh, like uh, nitrogen, ammonia and all those I, all those items. But then after that uh, it was not livable right. So, uh, so, CO2 had to be removed. How CO2 was removed? It was removed through this process. Okay, so, first degassing was there, primordial atmosphere was there. Then after a certain saturation point the rain started and after that rain uh, ocean got filled then uh, CO2 was eliminated alright. Then as gradually CO2 was eliminated then about 3 billion years ago elimination of CO2 about 3 billion years ago what happened that life started like, because oceans were there so initially life started as a very form of elementary life elementary very very simple organi organisms have started okay okay and gradually after that uh, they evolved over a course of uh, years all right and after that the process of photosynthesis photosynthesis began okay so, elementary life then they evolve their evolution took place then after that photosynthesis took place now after photosynthesis what happened that uh, the co2 was consumed and uh, because we know what is photosynthesis, it is a taking up of uh, CO2 and it is a biological process by involved by the chlorophyll containing organisms uh, for instance plants and all. So, they make their own food using sunlight and CO2 and then they uh, the byproduct is oxygen alright. So, then the oxygen was there after this photosynthesis thing oxygen was there. So, this is like how the primordial atmosphere was evolved into a uh, livable atmosphere ok. So, this is the whole process like uh, about the evolution of atmosphere. I hope that is understood. Then uh, uh, this uh, uh, photosynthesis was there after this uh, oxygen was evolved. Uh, after oxygen was there the, the living organisms further uh, developed and further evolved and the such more uh, differentiation took place among the living organisms and all. And this in this like uh, in this manner so and so like so on and so forth like the life actually kept evolving. Then uh, after this uh, ozone layer also uh, after that oxygen we see the formation of ozone layer. So, ozone layer the ozone layer we know it is uh, uh, in the after that troposphere. Uh, the, uh, the ozone layer comes in that stratosphere uh, that range the ozone layer comes ozone layer and that it protects from the ultraviolet rays. And uh, one more thing like I do not know uh, the if the class would have been physical I would have asked you like how many of them of you are geography students and how many of you are beginners and all. So, I am making the assumption that I am speaking speaking slowly, I am uh, uh, like covering all the basics because I assume that uh, uh, most of you will be will be the beginners all right. If the physical uh, presence would have, would have been there I would have personally asked like how many of you are, are geography students and how many of you are uh, uh, how many of you would have read the syllabus earlier all right because those who have read for them it is just a revision ok. But uh, this is from the perspective of like le le new learners ok. So, I am explaining from that point of view. If the case is otherwise please tell the administration then I will uh, change the gear alright. Uh, so, ozone layer protects from ultraviolet rays and uh, this ozone also has, is, has been in news because of uh, 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 chlorofluorocarbons and Montreal protocol and uh, all those things that we have uh, uh, we read in current affairs and environment section also alright.